Good afternoon and hello. My name's Carrie and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the United Kingdom who has trouble with her laptop frequently. Hang on, let me just see if it'll refresh and tell me if I'm live. Hopefully I am. If you can see or hear me, I'd be very grateful if you could put a thumbs up. What are we here for this week? Well, this week I've got a fun little project for you. Uh, it's a pop-out gift card. Um, it's a great mechanism. I love it. It's a um, 14 by 14 card, so probably a 5 by 5, 5 inch by 5 inch envelope would work. And I have it in metric. I don't have it in imperial for those lovely ladies in and gents in the North America. Uh, but what I will do is tomorrow I will map out all the measurements in Imperial and pop them up on a post on Wednesday for you. So uh, let's have another look at this laptop. Am I going live? I do believe I am. So hope you've all been well. I had a fab weekend. Uh, it was a stamping up a leaders event called Backstage at Home and it was brilliant. I had a fab time. I met some lovely people and had a great time. And then yesterday, uh, it was my oldest friend's birthday. Well, oldest as in we've known each other. I've known her the longest of all my friends. Um, and she turned 60. So we've known each other over 50 years. Wow. It's hard to believe we're getting old. Anyway, enough about me. Let's crack on and I'll turn around and pop you down. And we can have a look. Oh, oh. Sorry, uh, what we're going to make. Oh, I left my teacup on the table too. Yeah, well, I'll move that in a second. Before I do that, let me show you what I'm going to be sharing. This is the card. I've used the Take a Bow patterned paper and the, oh, I can't remember the name of the stamp set. Uh, Naughty and Nice and... Dear Santa stamp sets for today. Hi, Ali. Oh, that's really somebody's there as <laughs> you can see me. So it's very simply decorated because the fun it comes when you open it out pops. Let me see if I can expand. Oh, I'll get that there. Out pops a gift card holder. So you turn it that way, close it up, open it up. And out pops. You've got space to write, you've got space to decorate, and this is the size of a, a standard gift card, so it all works nicely. I was really chuffed with it. The back, now I've done mine in red and green. You, I would recommend you do it all in the same colour for these pieces, um, but I wanted to show how it, it worked, and I actually quite like the way, the way it worked out. So there we have it our pop-out gift card. So the first question is, I'm not going to make it in this paper again. Um, I thought I'd have a look at some of the papers from the, oh sorry, sentimental Christmas papers. Now these are a beautiful selection of papers that actually for every pack sold £2.50 will be donated to um, a charity whose name I cannot remember off the top of my head but they are they help with children's reading let's move my teacup out the way as well a quick mouthful yes. oh it's a bit dry here so paper as always is double sided there's lots of beautiful patterns, very much a, um, it reminds me of wrapping paper when I was a child. Oh, that's a enough one. I'll get somebody to remove that. And here we go. Oh, and they're so cute. Absolutely gorgeous papers. And look, who would have thought of putting white snowflakes on a brown background? Well, stamping up did. And I think it's gorgeous. 
So there's this one. And look at these trees. So gorgeous. And are we back to the beginning? I think we are back to the beginning there. Have we done six? One, two, three, four. No, we've done this one. And a nice piece for scrapbookers. And these floral bouquets and beautiful red stripes. And then we're back to the beginning. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, which paper shall I use? Well, shall we go for uh, floral sprigs with stripes? Or these images? We can cut those out. Should we go for greens and make a tree one? Greens and blues with the pretty deer. That's what they're called. They're called deers. <laughs> or shall we go for the trees and the stripes? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What do you think we should choose? I'm really quite taken with the Oh, no, no, I've just seen that. Trees. Do you know what? I just saw the trees and the stripes. What about the trees and the stripes? Let's leave those out. We can always change our minds as we go on. So, uh, the colours in this paper are... Oh, I don't know. Where are they? The colours are basic beige, basic black, cherry cobbler, crushed curry, early espresso, espresso garden green, Old Olive, Pecan Pie, Poppy Parade, Pretty Peacock and Shaded Spruce. Now, I don't actually have, uh, this is just ridiculous, I know, but I have run out of Pretty Peacock cardstock. So do you know what? I think I'm going to make this in white. Hi, Andrea. I think I'm going to make my card base in white. So I think white goes with it. Looks quite crisp and clean. Or, oh, or do I go for basic beige? Oh dear, it's getting tricky now. Mm -hmm. Where's the basic beige gone? I can find the vanilla, but not the basic beige. We'll go white, because I can't find the basic beige. I've moved it. But, so we don't need the pattern paper just yet. What we need to start with is some cardstock. You're going to need a couple of pieces of cardstock and of course your trimmer so bear with as I get set up you're going to need two pieces of cardstock that are 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the two at the same time I'm going to cut lengthways down my piece of A4 at 14 and then I'm going to cut again at 14 and then again at 14 so I have two pieces that are 14 by 14 I'm going to need to get the arm out for the next piece because it's going to be oh, uh, 14 at uh, 16 now I'm telling lies, 14 by 22. So I'm going to cut it at 14 again on the long leg way. And I can get it to work. There we go, 14 centimetres. I'm not going to waste those pieces, but we will put them out of the way. And now I need to cut it at 22 centimetres. Then I'm going to score this piece at 11 centimetres. Now I will post all these measurements on Wednesday when I've had a chance to work. Look at the green on my hand for colouring in. When I've had a chance to um, work out, convert them into for the inches. So the next piece we need is going to be 16 by 10 so i'm going to cut my piece of cardstock at 10 centimeters no i'm not doing it that way i'm going to do it this way 
10 centimeters wide by 16 centimeters. Now I know that this piece is 21 centimeters. On my trimmer, 16 is in the corner there. So if possible, I always try and get it so that I can trim off a little bit. So I'm, I know that 21 minus 16 is five. So I'm going to drop off five centimeters there. Now on this 16 by 10 by 16 piece, I need to score it at two centimeters here and just fold that like that. Put that to one side. Next, we're going to need a 16 by four centimeter piece. So I'm going to bring back my piece that I cut and make sure I get the 21 centimeter side. Just checking that side is 21. So I'm going to measure at four centimeters and cut four by 21 and then take another five centimeters off. And then take five centimeters off of here and this should now measure 16 centimeters and it does but this one I'm going to score at one centimeter in from each end it's very simple there's very there's no complicated measurements um, for this in centimeters and then we're just going to fold those that way and that way. And that's all that we need from our trimmer at the moment. So we've got two pieces that have got scores on them. Uh, one piece that has a score in the middle. But we are going to use our bone folder on that one because we do want it to be nice and neat. And then we have two pieces that are 14 by 14. So we're going to start with one of these 14 by 14 pieces and our folded piece. So you can use whatever adhesive if you like, but I'm going to take white, it's a white, I'm going to take um, wet glue and I'm going to glue my panel, my two, not my panel, my folded piece. So it's folded on that side and then I'm going to fold it, put my card in and I'm just, oh, I'm doubting myself now which way round the card goes in. Oh, how silly of me. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, the card goes in. so that it's lined up the open edge to the bottom of one piece, one of the panels. So using wet glue is quite handy because I can, I get a little bit of wiggle room and I can wiggle it into place. So we now have our 14 by 14 square with a 14 by 11 card base on it. Next, we're going to take this piece, which we're going to put like that. Now, you can't see that very well, can you? Let me grab another piece of card in a different colour so that you can actually see. Oh, here we go. Let's grab another piece of granny apple green and just cut that piece so that you can see where I'm going to do it. So again, this is 16 by 10. So I'm going to cut it at 10 centimetres. Take that away. And then tie, take, cut 5 centimetres off. So that makes that 16 by 10. And then we're going to score it at two centimeters. So this piece is just so you can see what I'm doing. 
So you've got your card, your, 12, your 14 by 14, your card piece stuck there. And then we're going to put glue along this edge. I'm not actually going to put the glue on because uh, I'm not going to stick it on. But then we line it up so that it's over the back of that panel. So it is now creating this long flap that goes over the top there. I hope that makes sense and that you can see what I'm doing. Now, let me go back to the white piece because I'm going to use that. So I, when you do this, fold it as a mountain fold and apply your adhesive there. So let's do that on here. That came out as a very large blob, didn't it? We don't need all of that. Let's spread it around a bit. Okay, so I've got my adhesive on that side. I've got the open card at the bottom and the top panel here. So I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to use my eyeballs and just do it by eyeballs. You can, of course, mark in so that it goes into the centre. And then you're just going to fold it over nice and neatly. So you have now got that is adhe adhered to the 14 by 14 square on that side. And that flaps up and this flaps up. Then all you have is this piece. And again, you fold those as mountain folds. And this time we're just going to put some adhesive on here. And on that side as well. And we're going to hold this panel down. And we're going to line up right at the end there and there. Wet glue is good because it gives you a little wiggle room and allows you to get it in place. And then I suggest a bone folder just to make sure you've got that adhered neatly, smoothly and on this piece as well. So you've got your fold there. OK, now this is the back of your card. This is what shows. Now, if you look at my sample. This is what my sample looks like. Hang on, let me put it around that way. So there's my panel, my large piece that wraps around the front, and my card on the inside. And that's what it, that piece is there. That's what shows on mine. Now, you can use that to cover up there, which I am going to do. So what I'm actually covering is this piece here. I'm going to cover it with cardstock. A, it keeps it neat and tidy, and B, it um, looks a little smarter. For the other card, I quite liked the little bit of green showing, but for this one, I don't want it to be showing. So there we have it. I've secured that in there. Take my bone folder and just smush it around a bit so that it's well adhered and then as we open out pops the place to put your gift card okay now i'm going to show you a trick to getting your gift card um, i don't actually happen to have a gift card so i went online and i found out the average measurements of gift cards and i cut one out of white <laughs> um I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. Let me just cut one out of green, if I can remember what size they are. Hang on, let me just do a little bit of, grab a pencil, mark it, and mark it there. And I'll just chop that up. We'll use the green again. Waste not, want not. Uh... I can't remember the exact measurements, but this will be good enough. And then off that side, 
there we have it now I'm going to use an old corner round rough corner round rough it's a good word that um, because I think that most gift cards do have rounded corners so what am I doing right okay so open your card up out pops your panel I'm going to go in a little bit now so you can see this is the gift card that I'm going to use I've got my pencil I'm going to place my gift card in place the part of it I would want it to go on and I'm going to draw around the corners opposite corners and you see I've drawn round the corners okay now what I need to do next is grab a metal ruler a cutting blade and all I'm going to do is line up my ruler from the point I'm not sure you can still see my pencil marks probably don't show up very well from point to point of where I I put uh, I drew round the corners of my gift card and I'm just going to do that I'm going to cut the cross from there to there um, I suppose you could measure and do all sorts of things like that but I'm not I can cut onto this because it's a cut glass cutting mat so it's not going to damage anything um, if you don't have a glass cutting mat please do use um, a self-healing mat and remember to take care when using your blade I'm going to rub out my corners my pencil marks like that There we go and now my gift card will slot in to the piece that pops out now I don't think I've cut that quite wide enough let me grab that again I've done that right I know I've done it right I'm, I'm debating whether I've actually got it wide enough should I have made it wider? No, it's fine. It was just the way I was playing with it. <laughs> and there we have it. Our gift card is now in our card. And when you receive it, all you see is that little bit there that says it's there. So, pop it up. Okay, let's do a quick decorating. We wanted the trees. So I'm going to cut a nice bold piece here. Um, let me bring that out a bit. So I'm going to keep a nice neat board around mine. So I'm going to cut a 13 by 13 panel. I've got the trimmer upside down. Oh, you don't know. Hey ho, I can still manage. 13 centimetres by... 13 centimeters let's have a nice white board around it and that goes on the front there and I have previously cut out a circle which I thought might work nicely on the front there um, but I'm not sure if I will, so I'll put that to one side, but I will stick this down. Oh, 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 maybe I should reach over here and find that ribbon. How about if we tie it up like a parcel? That would be nice, wouldn't it? OK, so I've got some ribbon. Uh, before I've stuck it down, I've got some tear and tape. Grab my scissors. I'm going to cut two pieces of ribbon that will
will go wrap round the card like that. Oh, it's picking up the colours. I don't know if you can see it in real. It's picking up the colours beautifully. I'm going to do it slightly offset. So grab some tear and tape and place that. Get that in place. Okay. So we're going to have that there like that. And then we're going to take the other piece and we're going to set it that way. So we can still see the paper, but we do have these lovely sparkly bits, which are really nice. So some more tape. And line that where I want it. So that can go across there. And then fold that down. So that looks reasonably straight, as if you were wrapping your parcels up. That's quite cool. I like that. So I'm going to pop this, glue this down so that I don't lose it. I'm putting glue where there's no tape. <laughs> And I'm going to leave the tape wrap cover on there and just make sure I've got the card the right way round. Pop that in place there. Oh, that looks good to me. But I do think I need a tree and I need a bow. OK, let's make a bow. make a big flouncy bow or should we do a smaller bow hmm, I don't know let's have a I can't see any oh oh hi Lydia nice of you to join us hope you're okay hope you had a good weekend here we go we've got a bow going on here well that's fine if you've just joined us the moment we're decorating the um, gift card card hidden pop out gift card card that's a mouthful isn't it that really is a mouthful so let's turn that around and we'll just snip and then we'll snip at an angle just because it looks pretty okay I'm going to use some glue dots to adhere Not those ones um, where did my little blue dot go? The little blue dot packet. Okay. I don't know what I've done with the big one. Oh, I found them now. I opened the new packet, and of course, I can then spy where I put the others. Okay, so we're going to put a blue dot on the bow. So what I'm also going to do is pop a blue dot underneath there. So attach that to the other piece that's going across. Discreet bow for posting. It's that this ribbon, I, I don't know what it's called, what's it called? Uh iridescent striped trim is actually quite soft and it's quite malleable, which is quite nice for as you say, posting. So that piece is now got a little glue dot under there. And let's put our bow. On our parcel there so that because it will squish flat but still pop up can you see it will go flat in the post and pop up okay so we're going to cut some more pattern paper um, for the inside have you seen the inside out um Lydia look it pops out it's a pop out <laughs> So we've got that on the front so now we need to cut some pattern paper to put here I'm going to measure that again to make sure I get this right yes I need it to be 10 by 13 so let's cut this paper okay. 
cut 10 centimetres. Make sure the pattern's going the right way on the reverse. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Um, to make sure that we don't waste the rest of the sheet. So we've got 10 by 13. And this reminds me of peppermint. Spearmints. Not peppermint, spearmints. So that piece is going to go in there like that. Um, we'll stick that in now. Oops, sorry. Or we could have this side, or you could have this side. Watch. Which would you prefer, the stripes or the Christmas trees? I actually quite like the stripes, but what would you like? I'm going to have a quick mouthful of drink while you guys decide. Pacers. Oh, that's a blast name from the past. <laughs> spearmint flavoured. Cool. Yeah, we're going spearmint. Oh, sorry, Kay. I've put the glue on now. We're going with the stripes. So there we have the front. <laughs> OK, so we need to cut a panel for that side as well because we need somewhere to write our sentiment. And I like to have quite a substantial panel so I'm going to cut at 10 by 13 again and maybe we could have a little strip of the trees what do you think just down one side um, what about Let's cut two centimetres and see what that looks like. Does that look any good? It's got the parcels in there. That's quite nice. I quite like this bit. So I'm going to trim that to fit there. So cut off of there. And then cut the bottom piece to 13. So... Although we've got a bit of red tree down there, we do have some blue there. Okay, let's get that out of the way. That looks quite nice together. Quite liking this. I don't think the green for my card works, but it does show where it's at. So. There we go. <clears throat> I have to say, I won't be doing a live next Monday because um, I'm going to Reading on Tuesday. Um, and I may be going the night before. I'm not sure yet. But um, I don't want to drive in the dark if I can help it. If I am going up in the after, afternoon on the Monday, because it's a nine nine o'clock start in the morning, and I'm I don't like getting up in the morning. So I'm not an early bird. There we go. So we now have our parcel, which needs a label. See, there's trees on the front, okay, and then out pops our gift card. So, what are we going to do on here? Well, I think we should put an image or something. So, oh, shall we go? We want a deer on the front? No, not really. I think we need some parcels or some tree. A tree, a Christmas tree. Oh, we've got that nice... Um, Oh, bah, 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 bah. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, 
I have so many things stacked up around here. It is going to cause an avalanche soon. Uh, Christmas friends, no. Uh, one of a kind, no. Decorative trees. Let's get a decorative tree out, shall we? Let's grab the dies. Not snowy wonder. Decorative trees. Let's pop a tree down there. Okay. I think. Oh, should we do a little bit of that? Now, what have I got? What have I got to hand? Do I have any sparkly stuff? I do. I have some sparkly stuff here. But I think it's the wrong green. Hmm. No, don't like that. That's not working. So what we'll do is we will stamp our tree. And then we will take out these guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. Uh, so we've got stripes. So snowflakes. Let's do snowflakes. And then I'm going to cut out. Oh, I also need the tree to cut out as well. That would be helpful. Come on back in. And there's the tree. Yeah, I'll save that for a second. I'm going to die cut um, using some Lost Lagoon because I don't have any. Um, Lost Lagoon will work nicely. I don't have any pretty peacock. I've run out. <laughs> How could that be possible? And um, I'm going to use some of the white glimmer uh, paper from this pack okay so how big is that that's that big let's get some scissors in and cut yeah. oh if you could see the mess i'm making it's really quite spectacular <laughs> that aside grab the dies we're going to use that and we're going to use that and we need the little machine thankfully my little mini machine oh, we need the scissors again because that's a bit too big it won't fit through so we just chop that up there like that <clears throat> put that through tree through first what I might do is use a little bit of inking around the edges to uh, bring in the um, beautiful pe pretty peacock it is a beautiful color not just not called beautiful peacock pretty peacock and then I cut this through here I'll just put that through the wrong way but hey ho not to worry. Get that out of the way. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa. Have you cut through this? Oh, not quite. Can you see it hasn't quite cut through there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully place this back into the place. I can feel... It doesn't wobble, but what I'm going to do is take some uh, repositionable tape. It's stuck to my drawer, my tub. Oh, come on, get up. I'm not supposed to be stuck down there anyway. It's supposed to be hanging off the edge so that I can grab you when I need you. <sighs> Always happens when you don't want it to happen, doesn't it? I only need a little piece. Come on. Yeah, that's better uh, the reason I'm gonna pop that down is I don't want it to jiggle when it goes through I know it's in the right place at the moment I can see that it is there I'm just gonna place that through again which 
tells me that I need to go through twice when cutting it in the paper. So let's just pop that through there again. And let's have a look this time. Yeah, that's cut through all the way, I think. Now we take the repositionable tape off. Low tack tape, whatever you like to use, and get that out of the way. From there. And I'm going to grab my pokey tool, uh, my pokey tool, my take pick tool with the brush, die brush end on it, because I want it to come out. There we have it out. Let's just peel back gently this is quite a delicate um, die cut a little bit of wiggle and we should be nearly done so there's the big piece out there now we just need to poke out these smaller pieces I don't know if it's shining on the screen, but it is so sparkly, this uh, white shimmer pa glimmer paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. Lots of colours picking up from around it, which is nice. So do we have every... Oh, look, there's one. There's always one, isn't there? Let's turn that over and double check from this side, but we don't need that little bit of tape there. So that's got to come off from the front. Oh, come on. Boy, well, this tape and I are not friends today, are we? Sorry, I've gone quiet. It's very hard to... talk and... Concentrate. Well, that is just annoying. I think I'm going to get my snips out and give that a little help along the way by cutting it out the way. This isn't from the dye, this is from. Uh, the way I what I've used to stick it down okay I'll put that to one side and I put the dies together so I don't lose them take that piece I'm going to find a blending brush and the uh, what to call it pretty peacock color ink oh, mind me bickies not think so <laughs> absolutely it's not my friend today diana it's very true unfortunately some days that's the way the cookie crumbles so it just gives that a rub off because that's got a bit of uh, i don't know quite what color that is but it's not the one i want so i'm just going to do a little bit of blending around the edges just to, to tie it in with what we're doing and to give it a little bit of depth There we go, maybe a touch more. Oh, that looks yummy. Now, how is that going to look with that over the top? Ooh, very tasty, but I think I need a bit more ink going further in so I can see more of it. <laughs> it's quite a nice thing, actually, that I can't, I don't have any pretty peacock cardstock, but I can now get a closer match to the colour just by putting ink over the top of another one. I'm going to get a bit more because I really like that. <laughs> I'm creating my own colours. It's the intermediate between Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon. That'll do, Carrie. Stop now. Pop that away. Now I'm going to grab 
a piece of kitchen roll so I can dry clean that first and then I'm going to grab a baby wipe and just give that a quick wipe over and dry it <coughs> okay now if I had had a brain cell I would have thought to put some um, self-adhesive sheet on the back of this but I didn't so I'm gonna have to go the old way with putting it on very carefully finding the fattest points then this is I would highly recommend using uh, an adhesive sheet for this because I've just got that there um, the other way to do it put it on the back of your hand and then dab the piece in and wipe it with your fingers so you can smooth it over I need a bit more there that's it I was getting it and then wipe that off there take that wipe that hand and dry it because of course it's wet we do not want to have any water going on there because we've put ink on there let me just dry my fingers thank you Ooh. so i'm going to use the edge of the die cut piece as the guide for where to push down oh that is so pretty and my hands are so sticky. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> okay, let's grab that tool and put that there. There we have it. So this looks rather lush, rather like that. And it carries on the nice um, sparkly from the inside outside of the card just going to wipe up any residue of glue that i've got on there dry that off oh sorry for the squeaky noise open it up out it pops and there's my tree gonna go in the middle there glue this down that so that it fits on there nicely and pop that in the center there I've got a big bob of glue come through there I don't want that because it won't close so I'm going to just take a baby wipe and a very delicately dab at that <laughs> I'm not very delicate today but there we have the inside decorated we just need maybe some sentiments so what am I going? Well, what's I got here? Season's greetings. That's nice. And I'm just going to pop that over there. I'm going to use the uh, pretty peacock ink. Pick that up, and I have a scrap of white card here and there we go one two three up and down now do I go for a bit of fussy cutting I think I will I'm going to Fussy cut around this. Sorry, gone silent again. Because <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. And uh, fussy cutting and talking at the same time isn't always the easiest thing to do.
Remember when you're fussy cutting, turn the paper, not your scissors. And use the scissors you are most comfortable using. <laughs> like a Marks and Spencers card. <laughs> Our local Marks and Spencers is closing down. I'm very sad. I love their food hall. <laughs> We do have a dedicated food hall, but it's further away. It's not in the town centre. And there we go. Around that last little corner. Season's greetings. Nice. Well, I think it's nice. I hope you do too. This will be stuck down flat because it's the inside of the card, which is quite nice for a change. There we have it, our stick, 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 our pop-out hidden gift card. Now, well, I don't think I have time, but what I might do is actually put a little label on there saying Merry Christmas. And then, got space to write on this side, let me pull it out again, oh, wrong way. You've got space to write on on this side. You've got a nice embellishment. This is where your gift card goes. And then it tucks up inside. And all you see at the back is this. So that's the one we've just made using the sentimental Christmas papers. And here is the one I made earlier using the take, a bow, take your bow. Take a bow papers. And I don't know where I put the... <laughs> I had a gift card for that, but it's disappeared. So there is a gift card slot in that one as well. So there we have it. Two simple, well, I say simple, they're not difficult. You just need to make sure you follow the steps and don't rush it. Gift card holders for Christmas and they're five by five or six by six envelopes would be needed for these anyway that's it from me as i said before i won't be on next week but please join me the week after have a great time look after yourselves bye